What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Normandy Games, you knuckleheads. And we are going to talk a little bit today about... Uh, as soon as I get back in this... Whoa, hey, we got a new map. Um, so, what we're talking about today, sorry, is um, the new FNAF game got announced. Um, I wasn't so much paying attention about it, but I kind of... Uh, we finally got a good, solid, um, basically talk about it. Um, Matt Pat did his video, and I'm going to base a lot of my stuff off of what he said. Um, typically because he's pretty good at his research. He... And so, that's what I'm going to base it off of today. So, Matt Pat did his sister. His, the game's uh, right now is called Sister Location, I believe. And not much else is given as far as. Oh, it's up there now. Okay, new map. Um, so, the question is what, what does this have to do with the original lore? Uh, to the original FNAF. And. The truth is, there's no guarantee to what the lore is. Um, the only thing they do know is <laughs> that there's uh, four characters, possibly a fifth one. Uh, Matt went over the uh, webpage data, which is where um, Scott does a lot of his coding and um, hides his Easter egg -y stuff in there. And people will notice that. Whoop! There you go. Whoa! Glitching today. Oops. Whoa! Hello. Why is this doing this? Oh my god. Whoa! Solve them. Okay. Boom! There you go. That. Um, there's a lot of the lore that's added in that uh, book with uh, Silver Eyes um, from what he was wrote might actually have more to lore than what meets the eye. And I am having just a terrible connection. I do not know why. Um, so the connection is that... Um, Obviously, the locations are related. Um, Foxy, the the playtime Foxy that you see in the game, <coughs> the one that's white and reddish pink, um, is actually. I am gonna stop this game. I am having a bad connection. Um, but that the the one in there, the one in the new sister game, is. The Mangle Freddy we see in um, one of the other FNAF games. And so there's a connection there. Um, what's interesting is the start of the show is not Freddy, but a baby. Or that's what they call the character, it's baby. And it's quite interesting because this is the first time outside of Balloon Boy we've had a humanoid... Um, character for the most part other than puppet puppet uh, puppeteer and it, it's kind of interesting to look at that so ah come on uh, from that aspect it could mean Bloom Boy might have a little bit more to it as well that's what I would love to think because there's not a lot of um Ah. of humanoid characters. Basically, it's Bloom Boy and the Puppeteers, the two. So, it's kind of odd to see... Um, ah. A humanoid character again, as and as the lead, too. It's really interesting. Um, but the biggest thing is the lore of the owners, which, in the book, I haven't got a chance to read it. I... When I get a chance, I'll go and buy it and read it. But, um, that there's two owners, and that the one was the designer, and, um, the other was 
the uh, accountant or the mechanical guy. Uh, there's rumor to believe that the mechanical guy is either the guy who's actually, um, well, the Arctic guy, the guy who actually does the designing for the FNAF world. Um, maybe, um, woo, nice shit flip. Um, try to gather my thought here. That he he died because the guy who was running the finances um, was also a purple guy, I believe, that they um, introduced him that way in the book. Uh, and Scott was always kind of the anti, um, I'm not going to reveal my lord, yada yada. Like, what they say is lore is not what I say is lore, kind of, I don't know. Um, but that he was... The, the one owner was murdered by the mechanic machine name baby. And again, this is going off of um, the fact that it's a book. A lot of the facts that um, Matt Pat was using came from the book. Now, he didn't say it was lore, but he didn't say that any information was false either. Which is huge because you kind of think about it. Okay, you didn't denounce the book completely. you just like, oh, hey, it's just for the movie, don't worry about it, yada yada. You know, there's some truth to some of the stuff. It, it really is. Um, so, it will be interesting to see how that works out. Um, Lore-wise, um, in that sense. Um, go check out Matt Pat's video. I think it's already got like almost 2 million views. It's ridiculous how good his uh, how good his theories get sometimes. Um, that's a credit I'll give Matt Pat. He knows when he does research for games he likes, he does great. Um, I will rip him on Pokemon any day of the week because when he did the Radicate episode, it just pissed me off to no end. It really did. I might do a response at some point to that, but. Um, I can say, give him a solid on this one, and say that he did a good job on this one. Um, and he really specifically talked about, he, they released an image too, where Foxy, you can see in Foxy's face, there was a cheek and then two strips of eyes, and I think it was a puppeteer, and then there's another image that was released of basically a mangled version of a puppeteer. And we think that maybe the fifth character is um, the puppeteer in some form. Um, how much of that is true, I don't know. It'll add more to it later, though, because if you really think about it, the puppeteer was kind of the missing, like, there wasn't a lot of information about the character. And people were just making shit up left and right to try to explain the puppeteer. And so it really leaves a lot to the imagination as far as what the puppeteer is and um, to add to that what the puppeteer meant for this series. Uh, there's a couple other characters too. Um, again, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I know there's like a mechanical Freddy too. Some sort of Funtime Fred. Yeah, Funtime Fred and Funtime Foxy. There we go. Those are the characters' names. Um, Ah, crap. I didn't angle that good enough. Hopefully I kept it in the area. Nope. All the way down there. So, Scott, I mean, when that comes out, I'll definitely play it. I'm going to eventually get to FNAF games. Just because I think they're great. Um, and I just got a PC more recent than not. So, um, but I'm already kind of past the hype of the other games. So, I've, if i got time, I'll do them, but... Right now, you want to do other projects, including Rocket League. I love Rocket League. Ah, I couldn't stop that one. Um, but focus on a couple other things as well. Um, we'll see how that goes. I am very interested. It's supposed to come out this fall, I believe. I bet it'll release it sooner because that's kind of Scott's mo. He'll release it sometime. I would say September. I think he's gonna screw kids up and like the first couple weeks of school is gonna be like bad for people. Ah! 
over time. But I think he'll release it sooner than later. I think if it gets done, and I think for. Scott, he kind of realized that FNAF World is not his forte. Ah! Car got in my way. Um, the FNAF World game was not his best work by any stretch of the imagination, not gonna lie there. Um, where he had to re-release the game and then a lot of people played it and kind of like, eh. It, it added something to it, though. Ooh, cool. They added new stuff to the Rocket League, too. I'm going to have to do an episode just purely on that. But I think overall... I don't know. It's, it's interesting, I'll say that. Um, but as always, guys, if you like the videos, do slap a like on them. If you want to see more great content, please do subscribe today. Um, I like talking about topics as well, um, which is why I love talking about the Finance Freddy stuff. So if you guys ever have a topic you want me to discuss or a uh, current event, uh, sometimes I might try to slip those in. So as always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.